robo las miradas siempre al pasar Quemando llantitas por el bulevar Recuerdo el nogal es lo que nos pasó What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video we are going to be attempting to color match my door handles the same color as the truck. As many of you guys know my truck is white so um, door handles are black so it kind of throws it off a little bit in my opinion anyways. Um, so in this video pretty much going to show you guys the removal of the door handle and what I'll be using to color match them. I was planning to go to the junkyard and trying to score some, you know, off a of Yukon or a Tahoe Avalanche Escalade because they're all the same body style. But, you know, after thinking about it and, you know, doing some math, each one's going to run me 15 bucks if I do happen to find some. So 15 by four, that's 60 bucks. Plus I got to pay to get in there, taxes and, you know, my time. And then I would need to remove them there and then come back home and take off mine. So after thinking about it, you know, I have everything here at home to do it. I have extra paint laying around and stuff, you know, to get it done. So I might as well just do it myself and see how it turns out. Worst case, we can always, you know, go find some at a junkyard, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, for the door panel, guys, it's super easy. You got three bolts holding it on. So you got a T25 torque bit right there. And then you got two, two seven millimeters one of them's down there, you can see it. And then the other one's hiding behind this cover, lock cover, so get a flathead, just pop it out, and uh, the other one should be under there. You also gotta remove this trim right here. Comes off super easy, just be careful. The same with this one right here. Comes off super easy. Um, what else? Oh, then you got a little plastic I don't know what it's called, a little plug. It's like a, I don't know what it's called really, but you can, you know, pliers probably back up this way, but if you have the trim removal tool, probably be a lot easier for you guys. And once you guys get everything, you know, taken off, just pull up with it, grab it, pull up with it, and I uh, just unplug everything from your panel right there and you should be good. So let me give it a go. All right, and then once you remove your door panel, you have three bolts holding on the door handle. So one of them is behind this plug right here. There we go. I don't know if you guys can catch it, but it's in there. It's a 10 millimeter. Then you got another one. Right in there. Probably be hard for you guys to see it. I don't know if it can focus in there, but so you got one right there, one in here, and then the other one is somewhere right behind here. So you will need to stick your hand inside and you know try to get it. But they're all 10 millimeters, so. As you guys can see, the door handle's already loose. Now we just gotta disconnect the rods. We just gotta push this plastic piece back there and it should release the rod right there. I think there's two. So uh, let me get to All it. Right, so here's the door handle. In order to paint it and prep it the right way, we do need to remove this center piece right here, the actual door handle. So in order to do that, flip it around. First thing I did was remove this cylinder lock. I already took off the little spring that was holding it down. Uh, popped it out with the flathead. Once you pop it out, it comes off pretty easy. Now for the door handle itself, you got a spring pin there. There's the head, here's the bottom. It is flared out, uh, almost like a mushroom head. So some people like to cut it off with the angle grinder, you know, flush. That way you can just pop it out. Uh, some people like to drill it out and some people like to squish it down with some vice grips or, you know, anything of that nature. And, um, you know, once you get rid of that mushroom head, you can't just, you know, pull it out. I think for me, I'm gonna try to drill it out first. Then for this side, you got this little pin here. All you're going to do is just uh, compress these two together. You can see there, there's like um, two 
chingaderas you can compress and then just comes out this way so i'll be showing you guys though first thing and uh you can see that it has like a butterfly pin i don't know if that's the name for it but we'll call it that so pretty much what you're going to do is uh get your uh needle nose pliers or bean sauce whatever you want to call them then you want to press down on them evenly you don't want to break that and when you press down on them push back on it little by little once you do that you have enough room pull it back over here pull that out and just remember how your spring goes one i don't know if you guys can see it but one end of the spring is down there and then the other one goes up here obviously so just remember you know how you take it off just like that we're gonna try to remove the last piece which is this spring pin like i said uh all i'm gonna try to do is just get rid of the mushroom head let me give this a try all right guys, so just pretty much take your time on this thing um you guys probably got a better way of doing it just do it you know by all means i'm just you know this is my first time first rodeo i guess just work it little by little just like that you can see where i kind of you know wore down into it so like i said just take your time you don't want to fuck it up or, my bad mess it up but uh once you do that it comes off pretty easy and uh you're good to go so all right so once you got all that taken apart you're gonna have something like this so this one i already went over with 320 sandpaper uh make make sure you scuff it up pretty good that'll help the paint on the long run you can see here this one i haven't done it's a lot more shinier than that so this is what you don't want and this is what you want so i'm still going to go over it one more time just because you know i want the paint to stick on there pretty good so once you get done sanding it down you're going to go over it with some wax and grease remover um make sure you know get rid of all the grease anything that'll you know prevent the paint from sticking so um once that dries out i like to go over with uh when it comes to plastic i like to go over with some plastic adhesion promoter it helps you out in the long run it kind of it basically what it is it's like a clear primer except you know it's going to help you know the paint stick on there better that's just what i like to use this is my way of doing it so uh you can spray too close of that let it dry up and then you know you move on to your paint uh the paint you can give it as many coats as you want i'm probably gonna do three or four don't know yet so um you just want to make sure you cover everything up pretty good you know make it look even once you do that you know i'm gonna go over with some clear there's the clear i'm gonna be using 2k uh there's leftover from last time it's still new i haven't used it because i know these go bad after you know you pop them open this is brand new just letting you guys know and uh you know i like two clay clear just because you know it, it looks better but you guys can use whatever you guys want it's just the way i'm gonna be doing it and obviously my paint that's the color code right there olympic white that's for my truck so you guys can use you know whatever you guys want but all right guys so after you spray the plastic adhesion promoter you want to let that sit anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes let it dry up real good and then you want to spray your first layer of paint and just don't go too heavy on it because if you do you're probably gonna have some runs and you can see here this is my first layer you can still see some black in the background that's okay um, each layer you know we spray on it it's gonna get better so personally me i'm probably gonna do anywhere from three to four layers and you do want to wait anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes each layer just depends how hot it is in your area but anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes you should be good so uh hopefully by the time we spray the last layer you won't be able to see any of that black background right there so All right, and once you're done spraying your clear, you let it sit for 24 hours. I did three coats of it. That's how it came out. 
not too bad for being a rattle can. We're gonna flip this thing over and start putting it back together. So if you guys remember, I told you guys, you know, do one at a time, or you can take a picture like I did just to remember how this thing goes together because if you don't have nothing to look back to, probably won't be so easy for you guys. All right, so once you guys got it put back together, it's not too bad of a job putting it back together. Although this spring right here does fight you a little bit. So if you have two pair of hands, it'll probably be a lot easier. But you guys can probably do it by yourself. Remember, just take a picture before you take it apart. That way you know how it goes back together. So now, you know, you guys are probably wondering how we're going to get this pin back in there. Since we, you know, we did drill it. Well, we're not. We're not going to be using this one, as I told you guys before. Um, went down to Home Depot. I got some hardware. We got 830 two by inch and three quarter bolts right there then we got regular nuts obviously the same same thread for the bolt we'll be using then we got the nylon locks same thread as well so that's how we're gonna go about it you either need to be um, playing with this handle push it in or out depending the bolt should go right in though if it doesn't like right there see you got lo it locked up either push it in Try to push it in or pull it back out and uh, pretty much just play with it. So it's like that. So um, once you guide it through, you're going to get your regular nut, the one without the nylon. You're going to run that all the way down. And you, know, you just want to do it by hand. You don't want to go all crazy on it so then you get your nylon lock run that in as well it's gonna get stuck right there so that's where you bring in the tools lock it in right there get your Phillips so pretty much that bottom nut is serving as a washer in a way but also it's gonna help it you know lock up with the other nylon lock so it won't walk away I'm pretty sure just the nylon one would have been would have been good but that's just the way I did it so and if it does that right there pop it back and it doesn't want to walk back in that means we over tightened our nut over here so you'll see Just loosen it up a little bit. Give it a try again. Just like that. Now it goes in. So in case you guys pull it and it stays, you know, halfway through, just loosen it up a little bit and you should be good. So that's what I did. All right, so the handles were on. I put them together last night, but I didn't install them on the door till this morning. And uh, I didn't record any of it because it's pretty much just the reverse order of how you took everything off. Let's get you guys a better view. But uh, not only that, I was just running late. I had an appointment. I had to get my windshield tinted. So um, it was kind of just in a hurry, you know? So just want to show you guys how they came out. Honestly, not too bad for being a rattle can. They're not going to be perfect. I don't expect them to. I'm no professional. But I mean, for being a rattle can, you can see how they came out definitely better than just plain black but just wanted to show you guys so now let me show you guys my windshield all right so here's the windshield I decided to go with 35% up front that's the reason why I was running late this morning I forgot I had an appointment so um, yeah just wanted to show you guys how it looks so in the rear i do have five percent up front 35 and you can see or you can't see through it but uh, you can see how it looks like we'll see how long it lasts hopefully i don't get pulled over soon but all right guys so that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i know the video was super long to begin with um you may notice throughout the video some clips were just you know edited pretty roughly that's because I try to keep the clips super short for you guys. 
because I know many of you guys probably already know how to do this, you know, project we did, take apart the door handles or whatever, but not everybody knows how to do it, so this is just for, like, the people that don't know how to do it. Hopefully, this helps them out, but, um, so you may notice the editing skills were just all over the place. Um, anyways, I also want to thank you guys for over 1K subscribers. I appreciate the love. I didn't think we were going to get there that soon, but... <laughs> But we did, so uh, I do appreciate it, guys. Um, also want to welcome new subscribers that hopped along. Stick around. There's plenty more to come. So uh, other than that, I won't take much more of you guys' time. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Robo las miradas siempre al pasar. Quemando llantitas por el boulevard. Recuerdo el nogal es lo que nos pasó.